Yes, but how will these overnight queues impact our own markets? We have a research team joining in to tell you just that, the trade setup, the stocks that are likely to be in the news and the action from the FNO space as well. Uh, well, let me go across to Vic first up. Vic, what is the market setup looking like today? Well, good morning. You know, quite a few important events stacked up today and, you know, that's what will keep markets on tender hook. Uh, now, remember yesterday, U.S. markets continued to up move for the fourth state session uh, after the CPI data coming in over there as well. But today, you know, the most important event is that late uh, night for us will be the outcome of the FOMC meeting event. And, you know, that will be something that markets worldwide would be looking at. Uh, now, talking about the commodity market, especially crude oil prices, crude oil prices uh, further significantly softened, you know, last evening. So, Brent futures yesterday down over 3.5%. Now trading closer to the $73 a barrel mark. Now talking about Indian markets, how did they fare in yesterday's trading session? You know, largely trade bond session where you did see some correction coming in. And you know what's actually happened is that the Nifty, the Nifty Bank, the mid cap index, small cap index, all of the markets, you know, actually saw a decline in yesterday's trading session, and all of them were in tandem. And yesterday, you know, what we also witnessed was the fact was that the advanced decline ratio was actually in favor of the declines. Uh, some significant stocks, you know, that were on the radar, you know, Canfin Homes uh, saw significant volatility. PI Industries, you know, amongst the mid-cap space, a stock that tanked significantly. Uh, so these are some of the stocks that will continue to remain in focus today as well. What are the key events to keep an eye out for today? You know, two important IPOs coming in, India Shelter Finance, Dom's Industries, both of them looking to raise up to 1200 crores also large block in the form of access bank uh, indian bank qip and you know at this point of time asian markets give 50 indicating a very flat start for our own markets today okay all right so uh, that is the update as far as the um, outlook on the markets today is concerned let's go over to upasna she will list out the stocks to watch out for in today's trading session upasna well couple of stocks in our radar today first up is access bank according to sources there's a change in equity of almost 1.1% and Bain Capital is likely to be the seller. Next up is Indian Bank. The QIP is launched of almost 4,000 crores at 414 per share, which is at a discount of 9.9% to the current market price. Next up is Shilpa Medicare. The Bangalore unit has received approval from TGA Australia for manufacturing and testing of medical uh, oral mouth dissolving films. Next up is Loris Labs. The Vishakhapatnam unit has received five observations from US FDA. Next is SRF. Two out of four plants have been commissioned and capitalized at an aggregate cost of 225 crores. Next up is Z Entertainment on back of a block deal. Plutus Wealth Management has bought nearly 1% stake at 292 per share. And lastly, Mankind Pharma. BEIGE has sold nearly 4.5% stake at 1,832 per share, while Kotak Mutual Fund has bought nearly half a percent stake at 1,832 per share. Okay, all right, all right, Upasana, thank you so much for joining us with those details. And finally, Nigel is joining in with all the cues from the FNO space. Hey, Nigel. Good morning, so Nigel, we have been mentioning this part that, in fact, the markets from being net short, that's the FIs, they've become net long. So the entire focus now is on cash market buying. Even in yesterday's trading session, we ended lower, but the FIs, they added massive long positions and they covered some shorts as well, which brings the short position to around 40 percent odd. I'll tell you what, we seem to be missing those FI shots. Because yesterday as well, institutions between them, DI and FI put it together, they bought close to around 2,000 crores approximately. And now the FIs are net long at around 50,000 contracts odd. So we're missing the shots in the system. In fact, when we were not getting, uh, you know, these kind of flows, the markets were moving up because the shots were getting squeezed out. Now, in fact, we're net long from the FI perspective. And if you pull up the one week chart as well, that'll tell you the picture. Because we hit this 20,850 a few sessions ago. The FIs became net long at that point of time, and from there, actually, we haven't moved much. We added around 20,900. So the last four sessions, we have actually moved not too much, 50, 80 points approximately. Let's run you through the options data, since today is the Nifty Bank expiry that will play out, the weekly expiry. 47,200, 47,300 call, both of them saw a fair bit of writing, which brings us to the level. I think that 47,500 mark is going to be a bit of a resistance. And I say that because of the options data that we pulled up for you on the screen. And also the highest open interest on the call side is at 47,500. The downside support around 46,500 or you don't want that level to break decisively. On the Nifty, 21,050, that becomes a bit of a resistance zone. While on the downside, the 20,700 to 20,850 is very, very crucial. We have gone to 20,850 quite a few times in the last one week or so. So you want that level to hold out. The gift of everything is suggesting some green to kickstart trade. I think the markets will, you know, consolidate a little bit, maybe in fact wait to hear what the Fed has to say. And then I think 
still be continue our upward trajectory. Back to you. Okay, all right. Uh, that is the trade setup and the power prep segment. With that, we'll slip into a break. When we return, we get to the highlights of the domestic inflation data in November, industrial production print in October. So stay tuned for that analysis. CNBC TV 18, embarking on a quarter century of excellence.